All right, Halloween weekend is here, and after several events got canceled last year, more things are back on track this year. Five News reporter Tiffany Lee joining us now live with some tips on how to help keep you and your family safe as you're out getting that candy. Tiffany? Hey, good morning. Now, I just have to address it. I know we've been talking about Halloween, but we are getting a little bit of a glimpse of Christmas here on the square because they're testing out the lights. But on a serious note, they canceled trick or treating on the square here in Fayetteville. They did this because COVID is here for year two. And because of this, you're not going to see those emergency responders, local businesses and community members out here passing out candy. But while that event has been canceled, there's still many fun events over the weekend going on. You can go over to Tawny Town for their Halloween celebration tomorrow or head to Crystal Bridges on Sunday for their trick or treat. But whether you're going to a planned event or just trick or treating in the neighborhood, it's still important to stay safe. Nicole Oliver, nurse practitioner at Baptist Health, is very excited to see things start getting back to normal. But she says there is a little concern. This is because they're scared that there could be another COVID spike with the holiday. She suggests maybe finding alternative events like hosting a family candy scavenger hunt or maybe even watching scary movies at home or having a block party where everyone stays in their driveway. But if you choose not to do this and go out to a community type event, she suggests maybe one outdoors and even wearing a mask. Look for a trunk or treat event because that's outdoors. You're only going from, uh, you know, car to car or whatever. And so that could be okay as long as the people that are handing candy out are taking some precautions too. And honestly, that's kind of, you don't know if that's happening or not. And so that's why I'm saying to wipe stuff off and kind of set it out and sanitize it as much as possible. Before And if you're one that's staying at home to pass out candy to the kids, she says maybe even wear gloves and a mask while doing that. She says it's also important to make sure that you're social distancing and washing your hands too in between places. Now, another safety tip from Fayetteville police is maybe give your kids something to wear that will help with their identity. So maybe a light up necklace or a dog tag or something like that, where if they get lost, you can easily find them or pick them out of a crowd. I'm Ivan Fayetteville covering news where you live. Tiffany Lee, 5 News.